Hi, uh, today we will discuss about a question regarding the binary tree and the question is find the minimum height of a binary tree if the total number of nodes given are n. First of all, what is a binary tree? Binary tree is a tree in which every node has maximum two children, either 0, 1 or 2 children. If a node has uh, 0 children, it is called as weak node, otherwise it is called as a non-weak node. And in this question, we have to find out the minimum height and the maximum nodes given and the total number of nodes given are n. Let's start with an example. Let's say we have total number of nodes 7. So how will I construct a binary tree such that the minimum height is minimum? So this is the root node and I am putting the maximum children of this node which is 2. And for this node also I am putting the maximum children here which is 2. And for this node also I am putting the maximum children here. So it is giving me the minimum height of this binary tree. I, if I wouldn't have put the maximum of number of children for each node, say if I wouldn't have put the 2 instead of that I have put only 1. So I had to put the rest next at the next level. So it is going to increase the height by 1 which I don't want because in the question it is given that I want the minimum height. So keep the height minimum I have to put the maximum children for each node. So if I am putting the maximum children for each node, so basically each level of the binary tree would be full. At this level maximum number of children can be 1, at this level maximum number of children, can, maximum number of nodes can be 2 and so on. So I am just talking about for 7 nodes but here we have to talk about the n nodes. So I can keep on filling the maximum number of children for each node for I can say that I can put the maximum number of nodes at each level and I can do that until I get the total number of nodes n. So if I check at level 0, total number of nodes would be 1, I can say 2 raised to power 0 and at level 1, total number of nodes are 2, so I can say 2 raised to power 1. At level 2, total number of nodes are 4, so I can say 2 raised to power 2. And I am saying this to generalize the thing. So if you will say at level 0, 2 raised to power 0 nodes, at level 1, 2 raised to power 1 nodes, at level 2, 2 raised to power 2 nodes. So at, without counting, I can say that at level 3, 2 raised to power 3 nodes. Say to get the total n nodes, I have to go till level h. So I can say that at level h, total number of nodes are 2 raised to power h. So these are the total number of n nodes and is the way we fill the binary tree. So I can say if I sum up all the nodes at each level, it will give me the total number of nodes in the, in the binary tree and which is equal to n. And this is a GP series as all of you know, this is the GP series. If you compare these two series, you will find that here a equal to 1, r equal to 2, n equal to h. So I am putting these values in this formula and you will get uh, 2 raised to power h plus 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1. And instead of this, I am putting this which is equal to total number of nodes which is equal to n. So after solving this, I will get... So basically this is the minimum height of the binary tree with the total number of nodes given n. But here I just want to explain one more thing. Say my total number of nodes are such a way that my last level is not uh, completely filled. Here I am assuming that the last level is also completely filled. Say, take an example, instead of 7, I would have only 6 nodes. So how will I construct my binary tree? 3 nodes. 4, 5 and 6. So if I will put 6 here, so what the value I will get that would be log 7 plus 1. As I know log 8 equal to 3, so log 7 would be something like 
2 point something. So it will give me 1 point something. So it is not possible to have height like 1 point something. Uh, if I will see here the height would be 2. So in this case to make it correct we have to take the ceiling of this uh, height which I just wrote. So I can take the ceiling of this height and now whatever the value of n this would be the minimum height of the binary tree. That's it for today. Thank you.